Hi, I'm Jackie Black, and welcome to Waterworks Virtual Art Printmaking Activity. Today, we're going to be making bug prints, and these bug prints are inspired by the prints of artist Alex Hitchcock. Alex is one of the artists currently on display in our galleries. Alex creates one-of-a-kind prints called monoprints using hand-drawn stencils, water-based ink, and gelatin plates, she communicates a sense of awe in the presence of nature. These are the, some of the prints that I made preparing for this activity. While looking at Alex's prints in our galleries, I decided that I wanted to use bugs as the subject of a printmaking activity because they're very colorful and they have such an important job in nature. The materials you need for this project are a barren, a brayer, assorted papers, gel plate, scissors, a pencil, glass or smooth surface, tape, and printmaking ink. All right. To get started, I've got um, some assorted papers here that we're going to make the prints on. I've got paper for making the stencil. I have a pencil for drawing, scissors for cutting. These are the colors of ink that I'm going to use. This is called block printing ink, speedball ink. This is very good for making the prints. We're going to use this brayer to roll the ink. And I also have a tool called a baron that I'm gonna to use to uh, rub my paper after I put the paper on top of the ink. Now, you don't need a baron. You can use your hand instead, and that'll be just fine. Uh, I have this glass surface here. You need something to roll your ink on. You can use plastic or glass or some other smooth surface. This is my gel plate. This is the plate that we're gonna put the ink on to roll it and make the prints. And here are some shapes I've cut out of bugs. I've got stencils here, a butterfly stencil, dragonfly stencil, and a beetle stencil. And the shapes that I cut out, I also save those. These are masks. I can use these in the printmaking process too. And here's a piece of paper, and I'm gonna show you how to make a stencil right now. a piece of paper and I've got it folded in half and what I did to make these stencils was I actually drew half of a bug I picked out some pictures of bugs that I liked and I drew half of the bug on the fold side it's very important that you make sure you put that fold that drawing on the fold side so that when you cut it you have your whole piece over here all right so for an example I think I'll just very quickly do a butterfly on the head, and I'm going to draw another line for the body, and this is, remember, just half of the butterfly. Now I'm going to draw a wing, to the body, and I'm going to draw that second wing. And now, while the paper is still folded, I'm going to cut that out. And I'm just going to cut on the outside. I'm not going to cut any of these lines in here because if I do, I'll cut the wings off. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to cut on the lines that I drew. And I find, boys and girls, that it's actually easier to turn the paper while I'm cutting than trying to turn the scissors to get those curves and cuts. And I think I'll go the other way and get the head. 
Now I could do, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put those antenna on there too. Didn't draw them, but I am gonna add those to my butterflies here. All right, so here's my mask. And here is my stencil. I made these a little larger so that you could see what I was doing. But of course, this is too big for the plate I have. But I just wanted to make them larger so that you could see easily how I cut those out. I'm gonna start by picking out the colors I wanna use today. What am I feeling? <laughs> um, I'm gonna do, I'm, gonna, I'm feeling red and orangey today. So I'm going to start with my lightest color first. This is called Printmaking Ink. It's water soluble, so it washes easily. Mommy and Daddy off of clothes and things. And then I'm going to use this tool, the roller or the brayer, to roll out this ink. And I like to start by just making some strokes in one direction. Then I'm going to go horizontally. What I want to do is get the ink nice and smooth. I want it to be smooth on the glass, so to be smooth on the roller. And then when I roll it on a plate, it'll be nice and smooth. This is called charging the roller when you're getting the roller on the ink. So we're charging the roller to put the ink on the plate. All right, so now I'm moving over to the plate and I'm going to start at the top of the plate and roll down. Ink up again, one, two, three, four. And this time I'm gonna start at the bottom and roll up. That ought to be enough ink, I think. Put the roller down. And now I'm going to choose one of my stencils or one of my masks. What am I going to start with? I guess I'll go dragonfly. And I'm going to position this on the plate. Now I'm gonna choose a piece of paper. And I'm going to drop it on the plate Press it gently. And then, like I said, I like to use the Baron. You don't have to. Some people actually prefer to use their hands because they can feel whatever they're rubbing with their hands. And when you're doing something detailed like leaves or twigs or other things like that, and you want the details, it might be better to use your hands, but since I'm just using the stencil, I'm gonna keep it simple and just use the bearing. Make sure I get it all corners, gentle pressure. Now I'm gonna pull the print by lifting one corner of the paper. All right, here we go. That's my first print. Now I'm gonna add more color to that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna pull up my mask off the plate. Now I've got another little image there. It's called a ghost image. I'm gonna see what kind of print I get. I'm gonna put a piece of paper on top of that. Let's see what kind of surprise I get. Put this down. 
Love it with the Baron. Gentle, even pressure. Make sure you get the entire plate. Bend down, pull the print from the corner. Let's see what we've got. Hmm. Not a lot, but I've got a little, a little bit of detail. I can add other things to this. All right. So, what's the next? Another color. I'm going to use red. And because these are harmonious colors and they mix together well, I'm not going to rinse off the brush. I'm just going to go ahead and mix that yellow and red a bit. You hear the sound of that ink? That's called, believe it or not, the kiss of the ink. You want a nice, smooth sound. If you don't hear anything, it means you don't have enough ink. If it's too tacky, it means you've got too much ink. So I like that kiss. It sounds just about right. Let's see. I am going to roll the plate, roll the ink on the plate. Ink up again. One, two, three, four. This time I'm going to start from the bottom up, the opposite direction. Okay, bring her down. Let's see, butterfly. Ooh, yeah, butterfly. And I'm going to put, actually, I have some other prints that I made, boys and girls. Let me see if I'm gonna put that butterfly on the top of one of these other ones. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put that butterfly on top of that. Let's see what happens. Try to line it up. Lay it down. And once I put it down, I don't want to pick it back up, otherwise I might have a double image. Unless that's what you want, a double image. Once you put it down, don't pick it up. Go ahead and rub it. And pull by the corner. Hmm. Some interesting things going on inside the butterfly from that previous print. I'm gonna pull up my butterfly. I've got another ghost print. Let's see. previous print. It didn't print very well, but maybe I can make something interesting happen if I put this other print on top of it. Press down gently. Love with the Baron. Pull the corner. to this. Let's see. Well, now I've got this butterfly that I pulled up. It's got some ink on it. I'm going to put this on the plate after I ink it. I'm going to ink it first. Let's see. I'm listening to my ink. I don't hear enough of a kiss. I don't hear that sound I want to hear. I'm going to put down some more ink. Yellow ink. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I like the way the ink is mixing. If it's mixing here, it's mixing here, and it'll mix over here. Come back here, little butterfly. Didn't mean for you to flip. Let's 
go get a clean piece of paper. Now, a good printmaker, boys and girls, keeps their hands clean so you don't have fingerprints all over your prints that you're making. And I'm gonna wipe this plate off. And add another piece of paper. Drop it on here carefully. Once it's in place, don't move it. And now I'm going to rub with my Baron. Gentle pressure, making sure I get all of the plate. And then pull the print from the corner. Now I'm gonna pull that mask off gently. Uh, hmm. Hoping to get a little more red. Still interesting. All right. Now, one of the things that you might have seen when I sh we shared Alex's prints is that she does the jelly plates. She uses she uses the plate to make her prints, but she also draws on top of her prints when they're dry. So, even though these are still works in progress, or there are things I could do to these, I could draw on them with a colored pencil or crayon. Um, those are some of the things you can do when you have a print that you think needs something else, but you're not quite sure what else to add at the time. So keep that in mind. 